So, yeah, I'm just out in my new favourite woodland spot, yammering into a camera. And uh, I wanted to talk about inclusivity, because I think that an awful lot of survival channels tend to come off, even if they'd not intended to, as a little bit right-wing. A lot of survival type stuff is, it tends to be um, a little bit uh, exclusive, you know, sort of like you often see, you know, predominantly white middle-class men going, and then I spent $20,000 on my piece of heaven, and, you know, anybody that couldn't scrape together $20,000 can go fuck themselves, and I'll be shooting them from my armoured compound and stuff like that. I don't want us to be like that. I want us to be more inclusive. As far as I'm concerned, anybody that wants to call themselves a ranger and watch the rangers thing and be part of the IRC and be part of the community, or just watch it. If you watch it and it gets you out into the woods or it gets you thinking about, you know, your personal ability to survive, you know, if it does that for you, then you're a ranger. You're a ranger the second you want to be. That's the whole point. So there's no... You know, um, none of the stuff we're going to put out is going to have any homophobic sort of leanings, any gender bias. You know, if you're a woman out there, you know, we'd love to hear from you. I, I personally would like a much more diverse group of people um, that were watching this and listening to this. So, you know, whether you're, you know, there's, so there's no racism, no sexism, no homophobia, no transphobia. We're not going to give in to it. And, you know, this information, the things that we're showing you with this series and that we've always tried to show you, with the news, with the, the radio show, the, the video stuff, um, even the meat, you know. Um, we're going to try and, you know, not just not tolerate it. And if you feel you've got to dislike someone because of it, something that they can't change, like the colour of their skin or their personal array of dangly bits, then, you know, at least think about it and understand that it's, it's not even logical. What is, you know, this is for all you people out there that have got a problem with the so-called SJW movement and all that sort of shit. Just think about it logically. Even a survival situation, can you turn any person that also wants to survive away if they're not actively going to harm you? Can you afford to lose a single person? Everybody's got something they can contribute to society. And if they haven't, you know, just being able to light a fire in, in an emergency, just being able to understand how you might patch someone up, to be, you know, even if the other person was useless but was able to check you for ticks, would still make them worth having a lot. You know, everybody can carry a certain amount of stuff. Everybody can figure out a plan. Even someone, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying even someone, but someone in a wheelchair could still prove to be a useful person. You know, even if you've got someone that all they can do is sit and think and figure out a better way of doing stuff or come up with an idea, even if that idea is rejected, is worth having. You know, you can't turn away anybody. If, if humanity is fighting for its survival, you can't turn anywhere away. So, yeah, none of that. None of, none of, no isms or phobias or, you know, let's not. You know, let's be better than that. Even if it's just because if the aliens come, we'll be super embarrassed that we differentiated between people for such stupid reasons. You know, let's not.